Over the last couple of days, I had a bit of a MIDI issue that I couldn't figure it out. Um, I noticed it yesterday and I didn't have the time to take a look at it further. And then this morning I tried to figure it out and it was driving me crazy. And I eventually, through dumb luck, figured out what it was. And um, I thought I would go ahead and put together a video on troubleshooting MIDI within the Studio One Three. If you're new to the program, you're new to working with DAWs, and it can really get convoluted. And there's a lot of different places that you can look for resolving your MIDI issues. So I want to cover all of those places that you should really um, pay attention to when you're having a MIDI pr problem. So what is the particular problem that I was experiencing? Well, with my external controller, I my keys they're working fine except for when I would get to D2 here and I had no no audio um, and I just couldn't understand what it was I thought well is this sample on the uh, in the sound set corrupted because I just downloaded the sound sets after upgrading to studio one per uh, professional um, I just wasn't sure what was going on. Now, if you're having MIDI problems similar to this and say that your external controller isn't producing any audio and you've got it connected to your VST instrument, one of the first places to check, this is the simplest place to look, is down here, this little icon. You've got this arrow uh, pointing towards the MIDI icon. Now, when you are triggering, triggering your keys, you see that light up there. So that's the very first place. If that's lighting up, then you know that your MIDI information is making it into Studio One. Now, if you've got this lighting up down here and you still don't have any any audio, the next place that you'd want to take a look at is the virtual keyboard within the VST instrument, if it has one. It can be closed. For instance, the Mai Tai, we can hide that by clicking there. So if we open it up and take a look at the keys here, then they are lighting up. Now if I come to D2, that's not lighting up. But if you take a look here over in the uh, the track column here, you see we also have another meter here. So it is making it, it's making it into Studio One here. It's also making it to our track. What about our setup here for inputs? All inputs. I'm using the MPK Mini. I'll choose that. Just be sure you've got the source right. But in my instance, I know this isn't a problem because the other keys are working. But just remember that this is another place to check. Um, if you do have your specific controller selected, try using all MIDI inputs. Now, another thing that I took a look at is we can go a step further here in this MIDI uh, monitor section. If we click there, then we have a monitor that will tell you what the messages are, the MIDI messages that are coming into the system. So what happens if I press D2? Well, we've got note on and note off. That's exactly what we want to have. Uh, if I press one that is working, we have the same messages. So you can see how this can, you know, get a little crazy trying to troubleshoot because everything seems like it should be working, but it's not. Now, I even went as far as we can control comma, come to our external devices, and we can try reconnecting, and then just using OK. Um, if you don't have audio like me, uh, you can try disconnecting your USB cable for your external controller, reconnecting. You can also try uh, selecting that controller and removing it, and then reinstalling it. Now this would be something that you want to do as a last effort because uh, it's easy for me to add the MPK Mini because it's already in. Um, there's a folder for Akai here in the MPK, so it's a pretty simple process. But if you, say, have a generic keyboard and you had to go through a process of adding it, this would be one of the last things that you would want to do. Another thing is to make sure that your MIDI channels are active. If we click the All button, then none of these are active. And um, in this situation, oh, I was in the Add 
So let me select that, remove, edit, and then if I deselect these, okay, now we've got nothing. So that's another area to look at. Um, so we'll come to edit, choose all channels. Be sure that your device is chosen in the receive from. I've got send to, that's not always necessary, but I have mine there. And we'll close out of here. One other option that you have available to you is uh, if you see this little gear icon, we can click that, come to the control display here, drop down menu, open up the device here. Now what happens when we're triggering our MIDI controller? Our keys are working and even um, D2 is working here. But if you see the virtual keyboard on the Mai Tai, that's not triggering. So, I hope that if you are having issues, maybe one of these uh, little tips is helping out. Now, with my particular situation, uh, one other last thing, try a different, I think I already said try a different controller if you have one, but even before you do that, a simpler way would be to use your QWERTY keyboard, and you can set that up when you're within your external devices. So if I choose the, if I come to all inputs, if I'll choose the, QWERTY keyboard, and I'll play. Now what is our QWERTY keyboard doing? If we look at our virtual keyboard on the Mai Tai, still, I'm, this is D2, and we're not getting anything. If I come to E, which is E2, we do. So I was just totally stumped with this, um, but this is yet another thing that you can try using your QWERTY keyboard to see if you can produce audio by connecting it to your VST instrument. So I'm going to go back to the MPK. Now, how this problem got resolved is by doing something else you can do, and that is using another VST instrument. Another thing you could do is use another DAW. If it works fine in another DAW, then you know it's specific to Studio One and settings within the system. Um, let's come to, I'm going to F6 and bring in a presence. Okay, now loading the presence is what solved my problem. I'm going to see if I can recreate this. Maybe I can't. But for some reason, when I brought this in earlier today, the record panel popped up when I, when I uh, pressed this. And I'm noticing something here. If I Alt, Shift, and R and manually bring up the record panel, this is what the problem was, is that I, I was using this D2 to trigger the node erase. And so that's why the MIDI information wasn't reaching the VST instruments, because I'm using it as a trigger key to turn node erase on. Now, if I, what I'm finding here is if I come to record mix, it, it seems like it needs to be in record mix, and then... I'll close this out, and then when I press it, now you see how that record panel pops up. So uh, earlier today, the record panel popped up, and then I saw that, and I started pressing it, and I saw the node erase down here at the bottom flashing on and off, and I kind of I had to laugh at myself. Now, coming here. Selecting. Magic. We have our key bag. So I hope that there's some good information in here for somebody. I feel like I'm kind of not making sense. I've been working on tutorials all day, but I really wanted to be sure that I got this done because, you know, if you're having many problems, it can be a terrible experience. 
And hopefully some of the tips in here can help you resolve any issues if you are experiencing any. All right. Hope this all made sense. Thanks for watching.